Yeah, what do you do? My leg day warm up? No, don't give me that bullshit. I know you know what you're doing. So actually. I'm like, yeah. You realize you're actually wrong with girls. You're actually wrong with girls. Are you pointing at me? Yeah. Dog. Yeah. Now there's a whole debate in the comments. Some people are saying the guy went too far and she's completely innocent and only doing pole squats. Like, I don't know why we have to sexualize everything. Stronger thigh and hip muscles, deep squats, effective for strengthening the glutes. It's good for you, <laughs> what the heck? I don't believe you. Other people are calling bullshit and saying that she's not trying to do pole squats and it's not innocent. So let's take a look at somebody else doing pole squats and compare. Yeah, what are you doing? All right, so let's just imagine that she's innocent and a complete beginner at the gym. There's still absolutely no reason to be making those facial expressions. Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, but surprise, surprise, she's not innocent at all. She's got an OnlyFans that she's promoting by using the gym for content, and this guy saw it and he tried to put an end to it. And this is what she had to say about what happened. So just because I do OF, I'm not allowed to stretch at the gym. Also to all the girls saying that I deserved it and all the people saying that I deserve to have my phone kicked. I deserve to be harassed in public because I was minding my own business in the smallest corner of the gym. Is there a rule that says no phones? No, there's not. Was it on a tripod? Was I being obnoxious? No, I wasn't. It's really sad to me to see all these comments saying that I deserve something because I went to the gym and I was stretching. I'm assuming he already knew who I was because I am on line in the way that I am and that it made him angry and guys tend to get mad at things that they can't have. See I want to talk to the man because we don't know how long she was there and how much bullshit she was doing before he ended up approaching her. If she was doing inappropriate stuff in the gym to promote her OnlyFans and I think he's right to go over there and tell her to keep it online. But I don't think kicking the phone's a smart thing to do. I don't think you need to do it either. I think if he'd have just not kicked the phone and kept it cool, I don't think there'd even be a debate in the comments. Hi. How you doing? I'm great, how are you? I'm good. Why do you look scared? Well, because you just kind of yelled at me for no fucking reason. I'm sorry. You good? Are we besties again? I mean, I, I don't remember us ever being besties. We were. What do you do for a living? I am a content creator. What kind of content? I do only Go to the left. Oh. Yeah, that was probably the easiest decision he had to make that day. I don't give you permission to film. Yeah, I'm not filming you. You're good. I'd rather you walk away and not film. I'm not. The camera's not even on you. You're not the main character here. <laughs> Sorry to tell you. They don't give a f about you. They don't give a f about you. They don't care about you at all. At all. <laughs> Yeah, don't try this at home, fellas, if she's not attracted to you. You go on a jail. You go on a jail. Can we stop duetting videos when we have absolutely nothing to add to them? Can we stop duetting videos when we have absolutely nothing to add to them? Can we stop duetting videos when we have absolutely nothing to add to them? Several months later. Can we stop duetting videos when we have absolutely nothing to add to them. ...of the, the lead car as uh, Christina Aguilera fakes an interest in Formula One. He ain't lying. You can't judge somebody by what they do to make money. I just told you I did. Yeah. I did. <laughs> okay, and I'm telling you, you mad close-minded, like, and I don't, you mad sassy too, like, uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's you, I, I, though. You I, blocking I, your blessings, you never know. I'm blocking my blessings because yeah. I don't want to wife a girl that works in a club. No, no, no. Just by being so close-minded. That's all. How? Because I said so. But there's Let nothing it resonate. wrong with that, though, bro. There's nothing wrong with it. And you making it seem... It's nothing wrong with it, but I mean, it comes with... Comes with shit. That's what y'all. Yeah, it, you, you're it's calling funny, me... You, I, you're I, calling you me close-minded, but you're being very close-minded right now. No, because not. you're not thinking about the stuff that it comes with. I think most men would rather marry a woman that's broke or works at KFC instead of a woman that works as a stripper in a club. He called. Close your eyes. You ain't think I was gonna get you nothing for Valentine? You ain't think I was gonna get you the Louis bag? Huh? Hey, Jacob! Hey! Woo! Woo! 
Boy, you fast, man. You almost got you, huh? You almost got me. Look, this is the receipt, man. Take this back today. See you back at the house. That's a great idea. Yeah, it's a good idea, but next time, just get the bag and put nothing in it. Then you don't have to take nothing back. Bro, what do you mean? That's hey, Kendall Jenner, bro. She not eating that bad, bro. Bro, bro I f with Caitlyn anyway. What did he say? Hey. What's your favorite place to travel to? Outside of the country. Outside the country? Yes. I'm going to Tokyo. Okay, that's not Tomorrow. in Asia. Different continent. What do you mean? So Different she continent. She outside the country. Yeah, the lights are on, but nobody's home. <laughs> Kelly, quit the bullshit. Let's just end all the arguments and everything. <laughs> Let's make this official. Will you be my girlfriend? What is more attractive on a guy? Someone who's tall or someone who's muscular? Tall. 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 You're short, so. <laughs> what a day, it's okay. So, I don't know, tall and muscular. Okay, tall. so for reference, I'm 5'7, so what do you consider tall? Six foot at least. Six, You're six short. Foot. Yeah, <laughs> I heard you the first time. She's tall, so she's eight uh, foot. How tall is she? How tall is she? She's like 5'9. Five 5'9, nine. Five nine? okay, okay. Sure. And then what's the lowest you would go for? Six foot. So you go yeah, six foot. Six foot, that's the you're lowest you'd go average. for. I'm below average, okay. Wait, so you're five seven? Yeah. So you're I'm like five five? You're too short, you're five foot Wait, seven. hold on, where's your boyfriend? Why is he home? He's he off after the girls' trip. The American Beast was trying to get a reaction by constantly insulting a man's height, and he dealt with it in the best way. He didn't give her any reaction, and he stayed completely unbothered. It's always the ones that you don't seem to want that are the mouthiest. So how did you guys meet each other? I met online. Online? Yeah. And uh, what's the age difference between you two? Cheeky fucker. I am 42. Nice. And what about you? 25. And the age, it's not really a factor at all? I mean, I prefer women who are more feminine, more submissive. Younger women expect more leadership from an older man. What about you? Like, what do you look for in a guy? Money. Money? This is just a business transaction. He gets a younger woman, even though she looks the same age, and she's probably scamming him, and she gets access to his bank account. Each to their own, but I'm not trying to be a woman that only wants me for my money. If you break it down fundamentally, 56% of marriages end in divorce. That's the ones that end in divorce. What percentage stay together for the kids? Or because they don't want to give away half their shit. Another 10%? That's conservative. Conservative. But let's say, let's say 20% then, okay? That's, that's at least right. You now have a technology that fails 76% of the time. That's insane. But people just continue to get married. Not only do they continue to get married, there's a presumption that you should get married. And if you don't get married, there's something wrong with you. If you've got a girlfriend and you've been with her for five years and you say to someone, we're getting married, they go, oh, that's great. If you say to someone, we've been together five years and we've decided we're not going to get married. We're going to move in together, but we're not going to get married. Ooh, what's wrong? You got intimacy issues? What's your problem? But meanwhile, 56% end in divorce. It's, it's literally... Fits the legal definition of negligence. I'm not against other people getting married. People have reasons like religious beliefs and things like this, but me personally, I'm not going to get married and I wouldn't recommend other men to get married, especially men, because if it goes wrong, then we're the ones that get the rough end of the stick. We're the ones that usually lose the house, the money, the possessions, the kids. And I also don't feel the need to make my relationship official with the government. If I'm good in my relationship, a piece of paper is not going to make that any better. But I do believe in a lot of the principles that come with marriage. I'm just not going to get married officially. Hey, what is the brokest thing a dude ever done for you? He took me to Jamaica, but economy. I don't do economy. Stop the cap. I don't do economy. You got to be first class or no class. He took you to Jamaica. Yes. The biggest e thing, Jamaica. On economy. Yeah, her future is clear. They call her the cat lady. Hey, do men or women cheat the most? Women. Y'all, we be trying to front like them niggas be doing all of that, but women cheat more, especially the LGBT community. They think they sneaky and they want to <laughs> have like a whole bunch of bitches and you know what I'm saying? Women cheat more. It's okay. Hey, do men or women cheat the most? Women. We're more sneaky. We can manipulate you and just get away with it more. Men. Women are self-sabotaging at heart. So they feel like if they don't do something first, it's going to happen to them. Hey, do men or women cheat the most? Men. Because I never heard of a woman cheating. And if I did, I didn't hear it. <laughs> hey, do men or women cheat the most? They cheat for different reasons. Women cheat for emotional connection and men cheat for sex. Pleasure. Hey, do men or women cheat the most? I say females. Females, when they cheat, they cheating because they actually like that. Feel me when you a n***a, you cheating because you just want wax, you know what I'm saying? You just want wax, I'm 
women cheat the most because I am a great cheater. You just have to have a really good lie for your stories. I'm a great cheater is a crazy thing to admit on camera. But good, she's exposed herself. So now the next man knows that she's a cheater. And if she cheats, she belongs to the streets.